Freestyle Libre 2 is here and in this video you will find all you need to know about it. What is Freestyle Libre? Did Freestyle Libre manufacturer Abbott improve any functionalities since the first generation of Freestyle Libre? Were they able to resolve the issues with accuracy of blood glucose readings that the first generation obviously had and a lot of people complain about it? How do the new features work? And what are they? And finally, will Freestyle Libre 2 become even more convenient and more popular than Freestyle Libre 1? The responses to these questions you find in this video. Stay tuned. My name is Tom, I'm a type 1 diabetic and this is my type 1 show. Welcome, I'm so excited to see you here. I've been type 1 diabetic for 31 years. I was diagnosed when I was 3 years old. Currently I use uh, insulin pump to treat my diabetes. I started with insulin pump when I was 12 years old. I also have been using various CGNs continuous glucose monitoring systems and that includes Freestyle Libre 1, the first generation which is a predecessor of the product that we will look at today. As a quick reminder and for those who do not know, Freestyle Libre is a flash monitoring system containing of two main parts, a factory calibrated disposable sensor that is attached to an upper arm and a reader which is used to read the data from the sensor and also serves as a blood glucose meter. The flash monitoring system only displays and stores results when the reading is initiated by the user and only shows data for 8 hours prior to readings. Generation 1 of Freestyle Libre was very successful. More than 800,000 people in the world have been using Freestyle Libre first generation in uh, 44 countries. That is really great. And this sensor helped improve diabetes monitoring of these users widely. It also brought the community together. I live in Switzerland and I saw many people on the street, you know, wearing these, uh, these white coin-like buttons on their upper arm and you know you could see this guy uh, is also using uh, Freestyle Libre 1 um, and I felt like this really brought the community together. Libre was also very affordable compared to other CGMs at least here in Europe the cost of Freestyle Libre compared to Dexcom were uh, lower and therefore Libre became, became really really popular here. Another reason why Libre was so successful was the convenience. The sensor lasts for 14 days and required no calibration. There were no fingerprints needed to calibrate the sensor. Also, the size was very small and it was very flat. So that's why people really liked it for its convenience. Really great. But to be fair, first generation didn't come without issues. Many users have reported significantly inaccurate readings. For me, it was many times around 60-70 mg or 4 mm when I compared Freestyle Libre Generation 1 readings to my finger prick. And that is quite a lot. And this usually happens during the first day or at the last days when I was using the sensor. And Abbott actually trying to improve this for the second generation. Another disadvantage was that there were no alarms, so the users have not been notified. Um, for example, at night when there was a, they were going low, there were no notifications, no alarms, which makes it a little bit inconvenient. So yes, Freestyle Libre 2 second generation is here. And you're probably asking, did Abbott come up with improvements to accuracy? 
and did they do something with the alarms and I can report that yes they came up with the alarms I will be also testing the accuracy in the next four weeks and I will share another video with you when I will get give detailed feedback on the accuracy when compared to finger pricks when compared to the first generation of Freestyle Libre just need four weeks to really capture all the data and bring you all this information if you would like to see the results please subscribe to this channel I will be sharing all my results all my experiences on my YouTube channel now Freestyle Libre second generation is currently only available in Germany. I live in Switzerland. I have an uh, address in Germany. So I was able to buy these, these babies uh, here from, from Germany and I will be testing them. Uh, Freestyle Libre 2 was actually approved in most of the European countries and should be released in the other European countries later this year hopefully in the coming months however the details schedule is not available have not been released by Abbott in the US for those who are watching from the US and who are kind of excited to try out this this uh, product from uh, Abbott uh, Abbott is currently in the process of obtaining the FDA approval so I really wish it goes well and that you guys who are in the US can also try this product soon so let's see what's in the package. So here we have the we have the reader. Uh, from my research that I did, the reader is actually the same. It's the same size. But the design is exactly the same with only one difference, and that is the color. So you can see the the new reader for the second generation is blue. However, everything else is the same. Same size, same length, same thickness. What they have in the package with the reader is the cable, charging, second piece for the charging. Uh, looking at the actual sensor, sensor in the second generation looks like this. Again, exactly the same as the first generation. Even the package when compared, this is the first generation, this is the second generation, exactly the same stuff. Uh, no changes to the design and the same the same goes uh, for for uh, this package also everything everything the same also works as a blood glucose meter so with the uh, strips you can use it to to check your blood glucose this is also the same as the first generation had I actually really like the blue color of the new design it's a cool color the reader comes in four languages German Dutch French and English there is a standard European date and time format and every time you check your reader gives you an indication of your trend of your blood sugar whether your blood sugar is rising falling or being steady I have to honestly say that the touch screen on a Freestyle Libre 2 is not good I mean it's not worse than the first generation but compared to an iphone for example the touch screen really is not good and it's really hard to actually hit the right button on the screen i have medium sized fingers and really struggling to control the reader with my fingers when it comes to settings and alarms you have quite a lot of flexibility here which is really good you can set up the low high and signal loss alarm and you can customize them so you can decide do you want low alarms on or off do you want high alarms on or off and what is actually the exact 
level when you want to be getting these alarms. The factory setting is quite good and gives you a wide range. The reader also allows you to set reminders. So for example, if you want to check your blood sugar every morning at seven o'clock, it's possible to set a reminder on the reader and the reader will notify you to check your blood sugar. The alarms are very loud. So even if you have the reader on a vibrate, you still get a relatively loud alarm for example, if the reader is on the table and it starts vibrating, everybody in the room or even everybody in your apartment will know that it's, something is happening, you know, something is vibrating here, so it's not very discreet. It's much louder than a mobile phone, for example. The alarms can be received on the Freestyle Libre 2 reader, but also on the phone when using the Freestyle Libre uh, link application. This application is only available in Germany right now, but as the products will be released in other countries, I expect that the Freestyle Libre uh, link app will be possible to be updated in other countries too, and then the information will be uh, going to your phone, not only to the Freestyle Libre uh, to a reader. The slogan that Abbott came up with is Alarm Scan Act. And so to actually see what your blood glucose is when you're getting the alarm is you still need to scan. So you get the alarm, you scan the sensor to see what your blood glucose level is and then you act. Theoretically due to improved accuracy, you should not need to double check the blood glucose on your meter. Some early reviewers of Freestyle Libre 2, such as uh, Diabetesis, and I will link her review in the description uh, below, uh, she reported that the alarms actually work, but are not so user-friendly. She had some good comments uh, for example, one of them was that when you get a high alarm and you act, so you treat your high blood glucose, you take some more insulin, then you will not get the alarm again unless you go back to range and go high again. So if you get a high alarm, you treat your high, and you still remain high without going back to range, you will not get the alarm. You will only get the alarm if you treat your high, you go back to range, and then you get another high, that's when you get the alarm, but not when you were not in range in between. And I believe that the same applies for low, and you know, that's, that's not really great, especially in nighttime situation where you don't want this to happen. So will Freestyle Libre 2 become even more popular than Freestyle Libre first generation? I believe so. We'll see how the actual accuracy testing goes. I believe if Abbott is able to improve the accuracy and if the patients will be getting accurate results then this sensor is really the most convenient one. The size, the flatness of it, it's just amazing. It's so small, like a quarter, like a small coin um, on, your, on your upper arm. It is incredibly convenient. And I feel like the community really likes the feeling of seeing other people wearing this, uh, this uh, white button on the arm and recognizing people who are also type 1 diabetics or, or type 2 diabetics even. Uh, it's, 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 a really cool, it's a really cool sign of, of the community and I think that's, that's really great. I think the alarms are, the, are great improvements. As I said, I will be testing both the alarms, the accuracy in the next four weeks and I will bring you uh, a report so that you guys will see what results I get. I will also be preparing a video about the setting up of the sensor 
setting up of the reader, setting up of the library link app so that you can see how difficult or how easy it is to get the sensor set up. If you have any questions or if there is anything you would like me to focus on during my testing, please comment below. I will make sure to respond to all the questions. I will also be sure to actually focus on the areas of your question so that I can I can give you my responses and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see my next videos if you want to see the video about setting up the Freestyle Libre 2 sensor and if you want to get the information of the results of the accuracy testing that I will be doing. In case you were wondering, I'm not anyhow affiliated with Abbott. I purchased uh, these products. I'm just uh, providing an independent view and independent experience and sharing my uh, diabetic journey here on YouTube. A little disclaimer here, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a certified nurse. Really just sharing my, my experience for your fun and entertainment. Thank you so much for uh, watching today's video. I love you guys. I'm very proud to be a part of the Type 1 Diabetes community on YouTube. And thank you very much. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.